Hey guys, Malcolm here, a mobile developer at ClearBlade, and welcome to my blog, Class at Creations. I think today we're going to do a very short tutorial on logging, which is really a very essential part to debugging our mobile apps. And I think Worklight does a great job of giving us tools to utilize to make sure our apps are bug free. So let's jump in and just create a project. Now in work light, logging is very simple. Uh, so like I said, this would be a very quick tutorial. You can basically log in all of your JavaScript files um, and you'll see the syntax in just a moment. Uh, very simple and to the point. So the three we're gonna talk about is a console log, which is denoted by console.log parentheses and you're going to type your statement here so console log statement all right next is going to be our debug log which is denoted by wl logger dot debug parentheses and then our log statement all right and lastly, and also a really important log is the error log. So just like any other development, you can insert these log statements anywhere in your JavaScript to kind of keep track of the flow of your application. Obviously error log is going to differentiate from the debug and console log. So let's kind of see these guys in action. Um, first I want to create a new Android environment. And today we're not going to really mess around with the emulators. Uh, I think I've been neglecting the console a bit. So we're going to do all our work in the console today. Let's start up our Worklight server. And let's build and deploy our app. All done. So I like to use Chrome uh, to view my logs and, and debug. Really, you can use any type of uh, web browser you feel comfortable with, as long as there's a web inspector or some type of inspect element uh, feature in the browser. So let's go to our work light console and we have our Android app here. Uh, so we see our, we see our, our app there. Um, uh, so we're going to just right click in the inspect element and go to console. As you can see, we have our console log statement, our debug log statement, and our error log actually showed in red, so that's really helpful. Uh, also, you will notice over here, it shows you the file where the log comes from, uh, where the console log comes from. So if you click that, as you can see, it gives us a little preview of our JavaScript file. And you see right there where we put our console log. So that makes, um, console logs makes it really easy to kind of trace uh, where a problem or a function executed. So you see our three types of logs. Uh, so I think that's a perfect rundown of how logging works in Worklight. And just as an added bonus, I want to show you a few things you can do with the console. I think we've been kind of ignoring it using the emulators and the simulators. But uh, you know, you can rotate this and kind of see how the app will look in this landscape type of view we can add a few devices to compare so we have the samsung galaxy x3 let's go and add an evo and let's go and add a droid razor and so we can see them all so we see all the devices uh, we can rotate them 
and, and just kind of compare how they look on three different devices. I mean, this is really cool. This is really something you can't do with the emulators. This shows several devices side by side. Uh, so this is really helpful. Um, all right, thanks guys.